Hello, let me show you how to convert graph into adjacency matrix. We'll use Python to show that. So let's say we have this graph and we need to convert this visual thing into like uh, 0, 1 matrices. Uh, the size of the matrix will be depend on how many nodes we have. Okay, so here in this case we have 7, uh, 0 up to 6. So seven node. So the size of matrix will be seven by seven. So which means like its edge can be connected to all other. Okay. So so we'll have like array of array, two by two array, which means seven by seven. And it will be if there is no connection there will be it will be zero. Uh if there is a connection we'll have one. So let's go to the Python and show you exactly what I mean. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here we have uh, this will represent the edge. Okay. And here we have G for graph. Okay. And it's seven by seven based on this scenario. So once you have this adjacency matrix, you can do all kind of uh, algorithm that use a graph by using adjacency matrix. Uh, so so the idea is that like we need to have seven by seven so let's let's do the first one. Uh, this this mean the first array this mean for the zero one zero index. So let me we need seven like seven of these for that and zero um. yeah here we have like seven by seven and this is and this is the main graph like the whole thing right now each each node will have option to connect to all everything we have which means we have let's say we don't have any connection right now so we have like uh, seven zeros okay so let me copy this one and So uh, this this graph right now, if you want to represent this graph as a visual, will have no uh, no edges at all. Like everyone is by itself. Okay. So right, uh, right now, let's start connecting these edges. It's very easy. Like a neuro, uh, node zero is connected to one and four, which mean one here and four. So we have this information right now. So if we have this graph only, right now we'll have only just these two these three are connected and everything is not connected okay uh, let's go to the next one one is connected to zero two and four okay now next one is two is connected to one and three one and three and Three is connected to four, which is two, four, five, six, two. Oh, it's not easy to speak the name of number and write it. Write different thing. Like you see three, then write one. Okay, and we have here uh, not three. This one it has two. And five and six. So this this node has three connection edges. Okay, two, four, five, six. 
uh, let's move to the next one four has connection to one to zero one three Almost done. Five is connected only to three. Okay. And six is connected only to three. Okay. Okay. For us, it's easy to look into this one and figure out what's going on. Uh, this one is for like digital thing, so it's easy for CPU to figure out what's going on here. And uh, here we have it, the adjacency matrix for this graph. Okay, so let's say we decided, okay, uh, let's say the question was, uh, is there a connection between node 0 and 6? So we don't know, we, we, let's say we don't see this graph, we just have this one. So we run the algorithm and the algorithm will give you a result if it's connection or not. Okay. And the adjacency matrix, so usually to visit each, each part in this graph, you have to have two for loop. Okay. Right now we have like node zero h1. Then we have we need to do internal loop for edge and node. Okay, because this is the edges. Okay, so now yeah, if edge equal one mean we have it okay. and let me get something else here we have we need to have like uh, index just to track whatever edge and uh, Oh, we can have it like for index edge mm -hmm. edge equal one, which means print index. Okay, and here we have let's say print. this once we run this code we should get some information we have error okay this can do the same here Mm. 
Oh, okay. Now I know why it's not working. Okay. Then. Mm -hmm. Okay, not zero has two edges. One and four. Uh, node one has three. Zero to four. Yeah, that's that's how we can go through that. Uh, right now, okay, let's say we have here this one. So let's say we have here weighted edge. Let's say this is, let's say here we have number seven, which means the distance between zero to one is seven. Okay, from zero to four, let's say the distance is, this could be like A, B, C, or some friend name. It's not, it's not like, should be integer, just number. But let's say right now, okay, we have here the distance and distance to represent the weight also. Instead of having one here, we'll have let's say five. This means is not zero, is connected to the edge one, and the distance or the weight is five. Okay, and it's connected to edge four, and the weight is uh, let's say three. Okay, so here we can know exactly what kind of weight. Okay, we have, so we can calculate which is better to go this, this, this to this, with the shortest path. Okay, that's how to represent the uh, nodes, vertices, and the edges, and the weight as adjacency matrix. Okay, and this this graph is a non-directed graph, so which means you can go either way. So another another type of a graph, there is some direction. Let's say you can only go from one to zero. You cannot go from zero to one. So to represent that, it's easy. Like let's say let's say direction is from one to zero. Okay, so zero will not have like way to go to the one. So it will be there is no edge because one is directed to zero and for one we'll have this one so it's basically the same adjacency you can create for directed and redirected weighted graph non-weighted and that's it usually this like you don't have to do this manually because if you have a system it automatically will generate represent the whatever graph we have Let's say social media or uh, uh, like uh, shipping company or whatever. Uh, so it will have like automatically generated this graph for them. And you can build the structure uh, for graph. So you can create like class graph and it has add node. And let's say you add this node. Then you can add connect this one to this, connect this one to this. So the program will generate this for you. Then, based on whatever adjacency matrix you get, you can do all kind of analysis and you run whatever algorithm you want. Thank you for watching.